let's assume for the sake of contradiction that the square root of two is rational. This means that it can be expressed as a fraction in its simplest form where the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than one. So let's say that the square root of two is equal to a divided by b, where a and b are integers with no common factors other than one. Now, square both sides of the equation to obtain two equals the quotient a squared divided by b squared. Now, multiply both sides by b squared to get rid of the fraction. Two times b squared equals a squared. This implies that a squared is an even number since it is two times b squared. Now, let's consider a. If a is even, then a can be expressed as a equals two times some integer k. Substituting this back into the equation, two times b squared equals a squared, gives us two times b squared equals four times k squared. Dividing both sides by two means that two times k squared equals b squared. This implies that b squared is also even. Now, we have found that both a squared and b squared are even, but if b squared is even, then b must also be even because the square of an odd number is odd. So if b is even, then both a and b are even, but if both a and b are even, they have a common factor of two. This contradicts our initial assumption that a and b have no common factors other than one. Since our assumption led to a contradiction, we can conclude that the square root of two cannot be expressed as a fraction in its simplest form, and therefore it is irrational. Q-E-D.